Today I'm going to teach you the secret of using slush powder. Now this is an incredible thing, lots of ways to use it. You can use it in a clear container and actually show them the transformation and tie it into Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 about not being conformed but being transformed. All sorts of ways that you can use slush powder. One of my favorite uses is to simply take a cup. Now beforehand, this is your setup. You're going to take a cup and you're going to measure out about a teaspoon a teaspoon, a little, and a, a little more of the slush powder right there into the cup. And uh, then I usually take another cup and I just put it in like that. Now the reason I do that, you know, a lot of times on stage there's things happening before you get up there. There's other things, people coming through. If this falls over, I want to make sure that the powder isn't going to spill out. And so when we start, I'm up there and I'm going to tell, I'm going to call up a volunteer. And uh, I call up this volunteer. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or a guy or what age. And when I pick up my cup, then I'll separate the two and say, and it also helps to show that it looks, it's an empty cup. And so I'm going to take this cup right here and I'm going to take a bottle of water. And then I call up my volunteer. They're standing right next to me and I show them. I want you to see the water going into the cup. So everybody watch real close. And I'm going to take the water and I'm just going to put it into the cup. And sometimes, even when you pull out the cup, they'll look and they can look down at the cup and they won't see the white. Now you can see it. You know it's there. Most people aren't observant enough, so you don't pretend like you're hiding it from them. You know, it's okay to have it down low and you take your water. Okay, now watch real close and I hold it up for this because I don't want them to see what's happening on the inside as I pour the water. And so I take the water, I'm talking to them, and I just pour the water in, you know. And, oh, that's about enough right there. Now, I poured about that much water into the cup. Plenty for that amount of slush powder right there. By the way, the reason I measure my slush powder usually is because I have a tendency, if I pour, I put too much and I go through it faster. And you get a lot of uses out of one container of slush powder. So you want to maximize the uses that you're going to get and not just dump a whole bunch in there. It's worth experimenting once or twice to figure out how much to use rather than putting too much. And if you put too much, sometimes that powder will come to the top and then if you turn the cup upside down, you've got a little powder that comes out. Well, you don't want that either. And so about a teaspoon, a little more, practice with it, you'll figure it out. So I take the cup of water, I say, okay, did everybody see the water go into the cup? So you know the water is inside the cup, right? And then I turn to my volunteer, I say, now do you believe that I can turn this cup upside down and not a drop of water come out? And most of the time, they'll say, well, most of the time they'll say, I don't know, because they're thinking, no, that's impossible, but I've seen you do tricks, so maybe. Uh, sometimes with kids, yes, I believe that. Okay, well, great. So you believe I can turn upside down, no water come out. And sometimes I'll turn and say, okay, who else believes that? Just raise your hand. Okay, some of you do, some of you don't. That's fine. That's fine. Now, I want to show you the difference between believing and trusting. So I turn to my volunteer again, and I say, okay, so you believe that I can turn it upside down, not a drop of water come out. But I want you to go a step further, because you believe that here, I want you to actually trust me. So would you be willing to let me put this cup over your head, and on the count of three, turn it upside down, would you be willing to let me do that? And the funny thing is, so many kids that are so certain that yes, I believe, I believe, are so, no, no, and so uh, is you turn to everybody and say, okay, now, now, I'm not picking on them, but they said they believed, is this, are they willing to trust? That's the difference between believing here and trusting here. You know, even the devil believes in Jesus. He's seen him. He knows he's real, but he's not going to heaven. The Bible says the devil believes, but hey, he's not going to heaven. There's a difference between believing and trusting. And so you get to talk to them in brief about what it means to trust Jesus as their Lord and Savior. There's a huge difference. And so, then you take your volunteer, or if they're not willing, let them back out. Find somebody that is. Pull them up. Say, okay, on the count of three. Now notice, for some reason, I don't hold it like this, because, you know, I don't want my hand to be in front of everybody. So I grab it usually like this, and when I turn it upside down, I want to turn it away from where the crowd is. And so I take it right here, and they're standing right here. Okay, on the count of three, I'm going to turn it upside down. One, two, and the funny thing is sometimes they'll scrunch up their face or, you know, hold their nose. I'm like, no, wait, 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 I, I thought you were willing to trust me. Well, you're acting like you're going to get, well, okay, here we go. All right, on the count of three, one, two, three, and then you turn it upside down. Nothing comes out. Now, typically, the person underneath the cup, when you turn it upside down, they're like this, and then the next thing they're going to do is they're going to look up. So I turn the cup back upward before they look up. So they know, oh, it turned upside down. And then I take the cup, 
I usually put my hand like this, so if they look at it, they can't see. And then I'll set it aside while I continue talking about what it means to trust Jesus, that just believing in your head can't save you. You've got to be willing to give your life to Christ. And then everybody gives them a hand and they have a seat. That's my favorite use for slush powder. There's a bunch of others, lots of other ways that you can use it. One way real quick, another way inside, take a small cup, like a little bathroom cup, glue it to the bottom of this cup. So you've got a cup in a cup. And so what you want to do inside the little cup inside, um, you put some confetti there. And then the slush powder is on the outside. When you pour the water in, make sure it goes on the outside. And it's just going to form around that cup. And when you turn it upside down, water's not going to come out. Confetti's going to come out. And that's another fun thing that you can do with slush powder as well. And so take it, use it, and tell people about Jesus.